Welcome back everyone to Western Mass Turf. We are in Agawam, we are on the road, and we are seeing lots of stuff out here. Stay tuned. Hey everyone, just wanna let you know we're having fun out here. I wanna introduce you to our lawn specialist, Tucker, who is busy working away at invoicing, which is important if you run a business, you need to send invoices. So um, we're seeing a lot out there today. Uh, Tucker, what did we see? We saw some bill bugs. Bill bugs, chinch bugs. Chinch bugs. Red thread. Red thread. Uh, weeds, we've seen nut sedge, spurge. It's out there. Uh, crabgrass. Um, so everything's out there. We're going to try to get some pictures for you coming up soon. Well guys, uh, we're back in Ludlow. Uh, Dave, it's pronounced Ludlow. Um, wanted to show you more of Agawam. Uh, Tucker and I were actually really cruising that day. We we're trying to get uh, that town wrapped up uh, for their second round. What we were doing, we were putting down the early summer feed and a grub control uh, at the same time and it was less than a pound of nitrogen uh, per thousand square feet. Uh, again, I'm trying to keep everything under two pounds going into the summer. So the first one was under a pound and the second one is under a pound. Um, so that's the game plan for this time of year. Uh, won't be back on those lawns, unless they have a service call, uh, won't be back on those lawns for another uh, 10 weeks or so. So uh, I wanted to point out that there's a motorcycle <laughs> that uh, there's a weed that I wanted to show you uh, that's uh, misdiagnosed all the time people love to call it crabgrass but what it really is is actually it's a weed called paspalum 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 call it what you want it's not crabgrass so this is the paspalum It's got hairs, it shoots up more straight than what crabgrass would. Um, and your normal Quinn Clorox and your dimensions uh, aren't really going to knock it out. Um, I actually do treat this in my program. We use uh, Pilex with a little bit of triclopyr and methylated seed oil. I'm gonna show you this one and I'm actually going to show you some crabgrass and here we have your crabgrass there's both smooth and large in here actually um, and if I look deeper I may actually find some chinch bugs in here the birds were going to town on this area this morning so um, Let's talk about scouting. So the main reason why uh, Tucker and I were finding uh, issues is because we're actually really good at scouting. Uh, and I'll show you how to scout an area. Uh, it's a process of elimination. So if you see an area like this, and you know it's getting regular water, you know something else is wrong. It's either going to be um, an abiotic stress or a biotic stress. So it might have been mowed in the heat of the day and that could actually cause this um, not getting enough water uh, or it's insects or disease. So uh, when you are scouting an area, the first thing you want to do is go up to the edge and peel away the grass. You can use a knife to mark areas and what you're doing is you're scouting for chinch bugs or bill bugs and you just work all along the edge you have to be patient sometimes they don't pop right out at you and fortunately for me and my neighbor there is no chinch bugs here. Um, 
You also have to keep in mind the environment. So right behind me is actually a giant maple tree. And this maple tree has a very shallow root system. And I know for a fact that if I put this probe in here and I go down, I'm gonna hit roots. And these roots are just sucking all the moisture out of this area. So that's the reason for this isolated spot. So I'm gonna to have to increase irrigation on this particular area. But that's how you scout and that's uh, process of elimination. So when we did find bill bugs and chinch bugs, we were putting down a product called Bifenthrin. Uh, it goes by many names. You can know it by Bifen. You can know it by Talstar. You can know it by Crosscheck. It's all the same active ingredient. Um, and it does a uh, okay job on uh, cleaning up chinch bugs and bill bugs and um, some other critters that want to eat your grass. Uh, you probably heard us talk about red thread. Uh, red thread comes around this time of year. Um, the best thing to do other than a fungicide is just apply that nitrogen, uh, grow it out, strengthen it up. Uh, that's about it. Uh, I really want to get more of us on the road. Maybe next time uh, you, can, you can actually see us in action, which is kind of fun. But uh, remember, enjoy your lawn, even if it has a little red thread. Thanks. Take care. Bye. It's even too hot for the turkeys.